Hello guys, Tom here from MS Power User and today we're having a quick look at the Todoist for Windows 10, which has just come out. So first thing, when you when you open the app, you're greeted with your list of things basically to do. If you want to add something, you literally just tap this plus, add what you want to get done. So uh, let's say, uh, ooh, look at client photos. That's businessy enough. People say that all the time. Look at client photos and press enter. It comes up. There it is, a kind of photos. And once that's done, you can just literally tap it and it will go away. Tap the circle, right? And task completed. If you want to go into a bit more detail, you can press this add and you can actually see there's a little like breakout menu there. So if you click that one, there we go. If you click that one, you can actually pull it into an uh, expanded view where you can talk a bit more about it. So you can say, meet Mr. Uh, James about his client photo. So go into a bit more detail. You can actually add that to a certain list as well. So for instance, I'll, I'll chuck that into super list. Um, you can assign somebody to do it as well if you want to. I haven't got anyone in this one with me, so it's just as unassigned. So we'll go with unassigned for now. Um, you can add a date, you can add labels to it as well. So where basically labels lets, you, lets people know where you want them to do it. So you can say get that done while you're at work. Um, uh, you can set a reminder and add a comment. Now, I will just note that reminders, comments, and labels are all part of the premium feature. Um, so on the free version, you won't get that option. Um, but yeah, the priority priority is still there, um, but otherwise it's not there. So you can add that, for instance, and that will pop in. Um, so another thing, obviously, you're on next seven days, that's, that's what you've got going at the moment, but you can actually add an entire new project. So if you press the hamburger menu at the top there, you're brought to all your lists of things you need to get done. So for instance, let's add a project. So let's call this project uh, London Gig 2. Uh, you give it a color, let's go with like this uh, mild mist blue. Hit save on that one. And then you can add certain types of things. So do lots of gig related things. So like promote gig on Facebook. So yeah, once you've got your list kind of down there, you can actually press this button here and you can add somebody to that list. You can either type their email and name. Let's add, I'm gonna add myself, um, which is a bit sad, I'm acting as uh, Mahedi at the moment because I'm on his user. Um, so when, when I accept, I can actually join that task. And there's my there's my email now, let's just join it as we're here. Oh, I can't, it's all the way over there. Um, and that's it, I mean, that's and that's the London one done. That will now appear in your projects as well. So London Gig 2, which is this one here. So there it is, and it will say who's in it. I can also, now that I've, um, now that I've got myself on that one, I can actually add that to a task. So I can say, Tom, make sure you do that. And uh, I'll get an email on my phone, on my other phone, and it will, it will say, go and do that. Um, so that's nice and useful. Um, what else is really good as well, is if you know something's really, really important, you can actually pin it to the start screen. So yeah, that's something that's only in Windows 10, which will pop up there, and it will just say, meet Mr. James's clients, whatever. You can make it bigger and all that sort of stuff. Um, also, you can see the live tile there for the actual app that shows you the things you need to do today, which is actually really, really useful. Um, and that kind of rotates around. You can you can decide what you want on there, but that, that's a really good thing to keep. So another feature of this, which I really, really like, is if you add a quick task, you can actually be a bit more specific. Um, so rather than going into your lists and all that sort of stuff, you can say something like print tickets at 2 p.m. on Monday, and it kind of highlights it. You'll be like, oh, let's pick that up. And then you can add a hashtag. So we can put London, and it should come up with my London gig. So we can put in London gig 2. And then you can also add a label if you want to at while I'm, I'll do that while I'm at work. Obviously, a label is a premium feature, but you can add all that like that. And then once you've done it, that will shoot off into your list for that thing. For London Geek 2, you'll see it's there, and it will give me a reminder and all that sort of stuff. So generally really, really useful stuff. Obviously as well, because it is 
designed for Windows 10, it works on Continuum. So we'll have a quick flick over to Continuum now and you can see it on there. So this is Todoist on Continuum for Windows 10. I've got my phone here and it can point into Continuum. Um, you can add lists, add, sorry, add tasks and everything that you normally would. So adding a task in Continuum is easy. And it basically is just like a blown up mobile app and it actually works pretty well. Um, you still get all the options you normally would. Uh, you can view all your other tasks and stuff down here. And yeah, it's, a, it's quite a nice interface. I feel like they could probably do a bit more. There'll be, I'm sure there'll be more to come. But yeah, it does scale up quite nicely and it's all there. So that's it on Continuum. So that's about it for Todoist on Windows 10 Mobile. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments below and be sure to check us out at mspowerusers.com. I'll see you in the next one.